Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered licensed dietitian here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And today I have a few, couple, a few tips for you on how to implement that healthy eating plan. You're going to need a couple things. First, you need a grocery list. And actually, you're going to need a menu for the week so that you can plan that grocery list. And hopefully, you'll have some healthy foods on that list. And also, an open mind to try and be ready to taste new things. When starting your impl or implementing your healthy eating plan, start slow at first and try to plan that week-long menu. When you have a menu out, it's really easy to stick to that diet plan. Maybe first just try planning breakfast every day. So say that you wanna have an egg with a whole grain um, English muffin and a glass of juice on the side. That's got a protein, a carbohydrate, and a fruit choice for you. So now that you know what you're going to have for breakfast, you can start to plan that grocery list. Try to shop on the outside of the aisles where the fresh produce are and where the things need to be refrigerated. Typically this means they're less processed and are less likely to have some additives like the added sugar and added fat that will ultimately give us extra calories. Now start slow, plan that menu, then plan the grocery list. And keep an open mind. By an open mind, I mean be ready to try new foods. If you're starting an, um, a new healthy diet, really a healthy diet's about variety. Try to taste that vegetable that maybe looks a little funky. Try something that you've never tried before. Maybe pick a new food out each week. Try not to overwhelm yourself, because when we do try too much at one time, we sometimes set ourselves up for failure. And when we fail, that's never a good feeling, and we're more likely to quit. So start slow, plan a menu out, plan your grocery list, and try new foods. Those are just a couple tips on how to implement that healthy eating plan. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.